hello everyone welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss um, two javascript error methods and these are the map method and the for each method so these are uh, pretty much similar uh, kind of error methods and if you are confused between these two i hope that in this video we will discuss a lot about these two and you will get more clear understanding so let's actually see what we have here so right now uh, we have this array so this is just a normal array and first thing that we will uh, see is the for each method so let's say that uh, whenever we want to do something uh, for each of our element we will call that our for each method so let's see my array dot for each and here it will take a callback so let's actually create a function which will be the callback and in this function for you you will have three kind of parameters and these are the item and the index of the item and the array that we are looping through so this array will be this one because this is the array that we are looping through right now and the index will be the index of the item and the item will be the item itself so here if i uh, let's assume that we are looping through and the first item is the 10 so here the value of the item will be the 10 and the index will be the one sorry zero because array starts from the index zero so the index will be the zero and the array will be always the same this whole array so that's what you get from this um, callback and after that here inside the function you can do anything so let's say that i want to console log something so console.log and here i will say the item is and after that i will add the item and here you can see in the console log i am having this nice console log where i am having uh, this console log five times because we have five items here and for each of our item we are having the console log with the item itself you can see beautiful and also if you want to see the index you can see the index here so here whenever we look through each of our item we will get the index for each of our item so the index for this one will be the zero and it will go to the next item we will have one and it will go on and if you want to see the array actual array you can see the array so let's say that console.log the array and here you will see always the array is the same and finally let's actually do one more console log inside this callback and i hope that it will make it more clear so i will console log all of this parameter here and let's see so if i do that you will see for each of our item we are having this console log so we can see whenever we are doing the first console log for the first item the item is 10 the index is 0 and the array is this one which is uh, the same for each of our um, element you can see because this is the original array and it will not change so we will have the same array for each of our item but the item and the index will be changed based on the item that we are having so that's all so this is really handy whenever you want to add any kind of even listener to buttons like say that uh, we are having an array of buttons or any kind of html elements and after that you want to add even listener what you can do is you can for each you can add for each and it will go through each of your button and after that you can do any kind of action here you can add even listener you can add um, anything or you can add any kind of attribute to the element anything you want so what we learned here is that for each will do any kind of action for each of your array element so that's why it is called for each very simple and after that let's go to our next method which is the map method which is really interesting so this map method whenever we will do a map method it will ex after the execution it will return a new array for you so to get the new array we will create a constant and let's say that my map so this is the constant where we will have our new array after the map execution so let's actually do the map here so my array dot map and here we will have a same callback and inside the callback you will have exactly same argument or parameter here so item index and the array and these are the same and if you come here and console log this item index and the array 
you will see there there is no difference between these two console log this is this was from our for each and this was uh, this is from our map method and the difference is is that this one will create a new array here so after the map execution it will return a new array and we will have this new array in our my map so how it will create the new array so this is the question so it will create a new array based on the return that you will have in this callback so you need to return something from this callback that's what i'm saying so you need to return let's say that i will return the item but before we do return i will add two with the item so now we will have a new array inside this my map so if i console log that console log my map you will see this is the my map and here you will see that we are having 12 up 22 32 42 and 52 i mean uh, we are having plus two with the previous uh, array item you can see the difference and let me actually let's say that my array or you can actually console table if i do the table then you will have a better view so here you can see my array so this was the previous one or the original one and this is the new one that we got after the map execution and here you can see this is the same thing but we are having plus two with the previous one so that's what we said for each of our item we just added plus two and that's what we said here and after that we returned the item it created the new item so that's what it will do and if you want to change anything let's say that i do not want to send the item at all i want to say that hi so now you can see we have this new array where we are having only high there is no value because we just return high for each of our item and if you want to say that high plus and after that i want to send the sorry not like that like that so now here you can see uh, we are having our new item where we are having high and after that we are having the number so that's what we said here whatever you will return it will use that for the new array so that's what the map will do it will create the new array based on the return that you will give here you can use any of these parameter in the return or you can do any kind of operation before that and after that you can use the result as a return so based on what you will return it will create a new array and that's what we have in this constant so this is the difference between these two array methods for each and the map so now i hope that you have a clear understanding between these two array methods and that's all for this video